Yeah, I am a rubbish figure painter. Hello, welcome to uh, our paint a day. This is um, oh, for my part. You see, I'm still keeping with the theme of um, the black powder paint off challenge thing. Uh, certain individuals aren't though, are you? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're sort of from the black powder range in a fantasy era. Are they? Yeah. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> what are they? What are you doing? Um, Steve from Awesome Wargaming, uh, I per I actually purchased a game off him the other day and it came in the post yesterday, so you know what I'm like with new shiny things, I've just got to play with them. So I feel to say, because of my no endorsements policy, there are other Awesome Wargaming uh, suppliers out there. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, I might be playing some uh, Dungeon Saga today. Yeah. A figure of my choice. I don't know which it. I'm, I'm just sport for choice because they're all pretty cool. Well, I've already done my intro video for what I'm doing, so okay. um, yeah. What do we do? What do we do? I've, I've done. I've just blacked out. What, what are we doing? <laughs> God, you're not very professional. Run VT. Oh yeah. So what am I going to be up to? Well, um, I did a few of these earlier in the year for drum, songs of drums and shakos, and I only got three done. I actually primed a hell of a lot more. Um, so I thought I'd um, have a look at doing a couple of these. Uh, I've got these two to finish off, but I might wait until I've got some of these, one, a couple of these primed ones ready or up to about this level, and I'll just throw these into, into the mix just to get them done. Um, I'm going to do all of these, obviously, uh, and I don't think I'll get anything finished today because we're only doing a quick paint a day today. Um, but I'll get as far as I can. I don't know which ones to do yet. Um, I'll have a think about that. I'll have to see what his highness thinks. All right, so uh, on with the plot. And we're back in the room. Right, um, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, you don't. You haven't got a clue what I'm doing, do you? Uh, yeah, I do, I do actually. What? You told me the other day. You're, you're painting uh, British uh, Frontline. British Frontline? British British uh, miniatures, British British Napoleonics from uh, is it Frontline? No, Frontline is something you put on dogs to stop front, them. Front running. rank. That's right. Yeah, front, front rank. Yeah, same thing. Same thing. Front line, front rank. You know. <laughs> right. Shall we crack on? Crack on. Hey. What are you waiting for? Nothing. Wait for me to blurt out some rubbish so you can record it. <laughs> Hello, and we're back. No, it didn't quite work. It normally comes out with some right crackers, but unfortunately it hasn't done it. You may also have noticed that we've changed back to how we used to do it uh, before. I was trying out something new uh, with recording Skype and stuff, but it wasn't working. Well, it was working, but I think I need to fine-tune it a bit, and it was going to take me ages to get out of paint the day. And, you know, we just want to get it knocked out, don't we? Yeah. Well, yeah, you do. Knock it out. Knock it out, knock it out. Knock it out. Knock out. So, at least he's not as close up as he used to be, so that's a blessing for you, isn't it? Well, he, the only was in the beginning, because he was a bit... Um, was it a bit too much for the viewers? It was a bit too much, a bit too scary. It was like watching your channel. My channel? My channel's a top-class publication. It is indeed. Publication. Yeah. Anyway, uh, f before we crack on... I just want to ask. I just want to find out who this awesome wargaming uh, company is that he's talking about. I I made a faux pas. I, I you know what you know look, a prime example is when I call uh, Earthshade um, Gravax Ag Ag I call it Earthshade Gravax, and for some reason my mind's starting to call Asylum Wargaming awesome wargaming because they're so awesome. Do you think? <laughs> yes, I do. Because not only did he send me Dungeon Saga, he sent me a free copy of Tabletop Gaming. Is any good? Um, which I will do a reveal at some point, but I can give you a bit of a, an insight now. I'll tell you what, for how much? £5.25, and how many pages long? It's over 130 pages magazine, nice glossy. And it's right up my street because it, it's it's got no. I, even though I love historical, it's got 
it, it's really filling the market for fantasy and sort of miniature board games oh, and board games general. So it's got it's got the Gates of Ataris, it's got a uh, Dungeon Saga, it's got um, the Queen's Necklace, it's got it's got loads of stuff in there, and I keep looking through it and thinking, wow. So I re- highly recommend. It's probably fairly difficult to get it um, from your, your normal. Um, W.A. Smiths, because I've been in there and I've tried to find it and they do sell out quick. But I know Steve's still got a few copies left. So if you want a copy, look it up on uh, Asylum Wargaming. So it's good value for 3.8 pence a page then? I think it's very good value, considering how much is um, the, uh, what, what, what do they call it now, White Dwarf? Well, it's always been called White Dwarf, but yeah, I know it's, what it's, you mean. Anyway, I don't want to get into the, into the minefield of... Uh, I'm not dissing them at all. I'm just saying that. If you want to complain yeah. about about uh, underrepresentation of Games Workshop, then please, 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 uh, links below, and there'll be one at the top for British Legion's channel, and I'll actually link to his about page so you can message him. Okay? No, but what I'm saying is that you're, you're paying top dollar for their magazine, and I think for a magazine like this that's independent and it's covering so many different game systems and board games and other companies, it's brilliant. Will you stop it now? We sound like we fucking know what we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I'll start going back to the morning minute. <laughs> He's not well. He's not well. He's starting to sound sensible. This is just and, not on. Uh, I'm not well. I keep getting headaches and I've got this whopping great ache up here. Do you know what? That's because one of your brain cells has got it's atrophy. It's, it's blowing up, in it? He's only got Very four well. brain cells. How are we getting on with our painting? Well, uh, personally, um, will you be able to see this from this range? Dee, 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 dee. Yeah, I'm doing all right. The problem I'm finding is I picked. I'm doing. I decided on the two that I'm doing. You'll see them in a bit. But I thought I'll do these because it's not that the, their arms are all up like that, so they're covering all the white bits. But unfortunately, you should see that the, the actual because the front rank the sculpts are really good. And they've actually got the white bits going down behind and all that sort of stuff. So I've actually made a rod for my own back here. So these will definitely not be done this morning. I can assure you of that. Uh, but I'll, have a, I'll, I'll, I'll go as far as I can. Anyway, the painting's incidental, isn't it? It's just, it's, it, it's just, the, um, it's just having British Legion on the channel. That's the most important thing, I suppose. I've got my fingers crossed. I said that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't mean it. No. <laughs> well, I'm painting. I only have you on here, so it makes me look good. <laughs> That's not hard then. <laughs> <laughs> well, it mustn't be because you're crap. You said at the beginning. <laughs> I'm painting a figure from Dungeon Saga, believe it or not. Yeah. And uh, I'm painting one of the hero figures, um, the barbarian. You're not going to really see that, but. Well, put I'll it right I'll... close up to your camera. I'll, well, I'll, I will. I'll get a, a better shot once it's done, and I'll, I'll send it to you, and you can put it on the uh, edit. Right. What colour is he going to be? It's going to be brown. Brown? <laughs> well, no, because it, obviously a, barbar- a typical stereotype barbarian would wear bear fur or furry stuff. Yeah. But I think he's got some feathers on, I think. So, this is um, fantasy, it'll though. It'll be a mixture of um, beiges and browns, probably. Well, it's fantasy, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I can do. I suppose I can paint in purple. Paint in pink? Oh, what does R2 there. say? Uh, shut up and get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> you drive me insane. He's got this thing on his uh, phone that like does all these weird Star Wars noises. And the reason why it's driving me insane is because there isn't the same for Windows Phone. You can't get it, so I'm really annoyed. So I'm having an Android phone next Christ- after Christmas when my next upgrade is. So. You can get. It, you can. I think you can only get it on the iPhone. iPhone. Yes, and I, uh, I mean uh, the ISO app. What? 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 What is this ISO? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great, but, I'm not But anyway, yeah, he's verbally know, dyslexic. I got rid of that. Pardon? I got rid of that Star Wars app. It's uh, the app I've got that made that noise. It's it's R two is telling me that something needs doing on my. Uh, it's that Star Wars command. So it's a bit like Clash of Clans where. It's, you have to manage the fault and everything and, and keep your supplies rolling in and attack other people and they attack you and you have to defend. It's the same thing as that, but it's Star Wars Universe. Star Wars and, Universe. Uh, 
All right, my HQ upgraded in about two days' time. Yeah. And it's available on some weird phone called, which is, what has it got? ISO it's what? It's for, it's for, it's, it's, it's Oh, an for, iPhone, you mean, oh, iOS. It's called, ah. it's for, um, it's for a Bapple. From Bapple? Bapple phone. A Bapple, Bapple phone. Yeah. Bapple. I didn't know it was, I, I thought your, uh, your, your, uh, agents didn't want me to mention, uh, Big Browns. Do you know what, that's the best thing about Skype is he breaks up every now and again and he sounds like an idiot. Well, he sounds even more like an idiot than he normally is. Say Come something. Uh, testing, testing. You're very, very testing. You are very testing indeed. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're going to do some more painting now. All right, catch you in a minute. Okay, so um, it's now the Legion's lunchtime. He's a bit late today, actually. It's uh, half past 11 now. I would, have heard it, I would have had it earlier if someone told me to hang on. Yeah, well, I didn't realise what the time was. But then now I realise what the time was, and it's quite late. Got the uh, sandwiches. All right. Uh, the anti-alien uh, uh, wrapper. Wrapper on. What have you got today? They, they can't penetrate. They can't communicate with the sandwiches. No. What have you got today? Huh? What have you got today? Same as I always have: cheese, pickle, and ham. And then I get the crisps. I just hold out the bran and. Um, Crunch them up and then pour it onto the sandwich, and so they've got a nice crunch when you eat the sandwich. And it Lovely. adds flavour as well. Lovely. That eats uh, salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar. Can't say that fast. Salt and vinegar. I uh, oh, did it. Wow. <laughs> Sometimes I even amaze myself. You heard it here first. Anyway, um, I've got on a bit with me, me little men that I'm doing. Can you see them? Um, like I said to you before, I don't think I'll be getting them finished today, obviously, because we've only got a morning. Why have we only got a morning? Because you got stuff to do this afternoon. I thought Steve was coming to save the day. Oh yeah, Steve's coming to help me to tell me how to uh, to run to run a business. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm not allowed to do any painting this afternoon because Steve's told me that I have to do what he tells me to do. Whatever that is, I don't know. We'll see. I'll let you know tomorrow. I'll do, I'll do a video tomorrow, so I'll let you know what happens. I am. How are you getting on? Uh, I'm really, really happy with what I've done so far. I can't really pick it up and shake because I've just literally painted the base of it. So I've got all the, the base colours on the figure and the, the base is painted with the base colour. You've got so a new brown, haven't you? I've got a new brown. I'm really pleased with my new brown. It's uh, red leather. So I've got I've got a good combination of the favourites on this figure. So on cavalry brown, red leather. Cavalry brown is that's on the belts, and I've got red leather on these boots and these little skirt. I've got I've got a very light brown. I can't really call it a brown, but that uh, uh, Iraqi sand on some of the uh, underneath underneath the figure. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, yeah, it's going to look okay with a brown wash. With a brown wash, <laughs> yeah. Well, he's got to have a brown wash, isn't it? Because he's got mainly browns on it, and the skin tones. There's a lot of skin tone on him uh, with muscle, so that's got a brown tone on it. So brown wash. The only black is gonna it will be the metallics and uh, maybe the boots. How long? Do you, what? How long do you reckon it is before you'll have um, <coughs> finished it? <laughs> I probably can get it done now. Probably uh, in about. Well, no, because the wash takes about twenty minutes to dry, doesn't it? Yeah. So probably within an hour. How long? How long would it, do you reckon it would take a good painter to paint? A good painter to paint probably spend all day on it. If not, I don't know. So longer than we would. Longer than we would. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I like. I wouldn't change my painting style. To, 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 I'm quite happy on where I can look at miniature, and you can always tell, can't you? When you pick it up and think. That looks okay, that looks rubbish. So I'm quite happy where I'm going. So. Oh, yeah. I don't think I'm going to improve anymore. But. No. Uh, you know when you see these really good painters and they show you these really good techniques, you think, oh, I'll try that, and you think, oh. <laughs> and you try it, it looks like, it look, it looks like a dog's dinner. <laughs> well, well, not necessarily you, but any of us. I mean, I, I've, I've, I've watched Lester Bursley and his airbrush, and I tried it, and... Mm. <sighs> what a disaster! As long as at the end of the day, as long as you, you look at that miniature and you personally think, 
I like looking at that, then that's, that's fine. But we pay for war games, don't we? I mean, at the end of the day, it's got to look good from three feet away. Yeah. It's not got to look good. It's got you've got to know what it is. That is, I can't see mine from two miles. Yeah. No, but what I'm saying is, <laughs> yeah, very funny. What I'm saying is, though, at the end of the day, you stick them on the table, and like with these chaps, I need to know which ones a grenadier, which ones a centre company, and which ones a fusilier. How can I know that? Well, basically, I just want to make sure that I can see the plumes. What you That's the important do, bit. Play, if you're playing British and French, you could just dip them in red paint for the British, and then dip them in blue paint for the French. You know them, wouldn't you? And if you really want to go fancy, you just put them in a, in in your super shiny dip. I'm only joking. <laughs> it's gone all quiet on me. <laughs> You're an idiot. Anyway, I heard you got a, a postman knocked again oh, yesterday, yes, didn't yes. it? My friend, my good friend, um, Mr. Super Chippy. I think 74, but I just call him Mr. Super Chippy. I sent him some uh, stuff the other week, and he said, "Can I send you some stuff?" And I said, "No, we don't send stuff." I'll show you yours if you'll show me mine. No. No, so I'll show you no, mine. <laughs> so he sent me a care package, oh. uh, which was really nice of him. Is there a good love letter in it? It had a love letter in it. Here, here's the love letter. Are, read, are, are you going to read it out faithfully? Yeah. It says here, Dear Nick, I really love your channel, and I think you're the best YouTuber on the earth. I have your picture in my... No, it's <laughs> <laughs> It says here, Nick, I hope you find his figure useful with your Empire stuff. I'll tell you that in a minute. And uh, he's put another box of figures that he thought I might like, Owen. Thanks, Owen. And in the box, well, first of all, this is the figure he sent me, because you, you all know I like my Empire of the Dead. And he's got this figure from the same company. I don't think you can see that, but no. he is a dog, basically, but he's a were-dog. So he can, he's a human being that can change into a Doberman of all dogs. And he, he, he's going to go in lovely with my uh, werewolf faction. So that's, that's thank you very much, Owen. And it's lovely. It's been painted by him as well. Uh, what I might do tomorrow in my video, I'll, I'll pop up a quick shot of it and uh, so people can see the, the quality of, of Owen's painting. And he said to me, he said, oh, it, I did paint it a few years ago. So but I looked at it and thought, wow, that's really good. So uh, and also he sent me this unusual gift. If you all remember, in the 1980s, there was a computer game called The Worms. Worms. Uh, well, I think it was not quite... Yeah, well, it might have been. No, no, yeah. late, uh, late 80s, early 90s, I suppose. Yeah. And they brought out this game called Worms, where basically it was a, a, it was a level playing field, battlefield, and these worms would have to hop around, shooting each other, doing horrible things to each other, exploding sheep, exploding dynamite. And uh, mining. That's mine yeah. tunnels. Like me mega. So these what he sent me. He sent me a, a collection of metal worms. It must be limited edition. And within that, you get ammo crates, sheep, uh, little walls to hide behind. Uh, and they're really, really nice. So thank you very much. Owen. What I'm going to do? I'm going to paint these up as like a diorama at mm -hmm. some point. And uh, so yeah, little mini worms with their head. They look like Rambo holding bazookas and Uzis and stuff like that. Really cool. So yeah, that was it. So thanks again, Owen. Right up your street. Yeah, right up my street. Good. And that was that. Are you eat your dinner now. I can right. eat my sandwich now. I'm going to go out for 20 minutes while you eat this because it's despicable. <sighs> and I've got pain in my jaw. As I said, I've got this pain. So when I bite down, it's painful. We don't really care, do we? No, we don't really care, do we, about him being in pain. Anyway, uh, we're going. I'll let him do his lunch. I'll do some more painting, and then uh, I think we'll just finish off. Like I say, we haven't got a full date, so yeah. Yeah, it's a bit of a, a rush job, if I can say that. It's a bit of a rush job, isn't it? Yeah, but it's still going to be quality painting at the end of the day. Do you think? For me, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about the quality; it's about the enjoyment. Exactly. That's yeah. what I tell myself every night. <laughs> it's not about the quality, it's about the enjoyment. Are you enjoying it? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> wake up, come on, wake up. Wake up, wake up. There you go. Right. How are you doing? Uh, I've, I've more or less finished. Um, as this, this, the washes are taking a bit longer to dry, as it's not so warm in the shop. No. But it's um, taking longer to dry. Um, taking longer to dry. So, um, are you on yeah, a loop? I'm really 
really pleased with it. I, I think you can, I'm not. I'm not going to show it off because what I'll do, I'll, I'll send you a picture of it later, and you can pop it up. And you do. Well, tell you um, what. Tell you what. Right. You can tell us what it is now, and what I'll do is when it comes, is I'll put, display the image while you tell us what it is. Okay. So you've got okay. ten, seconds, ten seconds. Starting now. Right. Right. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful miniature by uh, Mantic. Uh, it's plastic. And I think it's come out really well. Um, I've used lots of browns and flesh tones, and uh, not lots of flesh tones, but uh, just my high elf flesh tone I always use for my flesh colours. And uh, yeah, it's turned out really nice. And I'll, I'll do the highlights in a minute, but as you'll see in this face, so you'll see it done. So yeah, I'll move on to something else tomorrow. There you go. Well, what I'll do is I'll quickly now pan down and show you what I'm doing. Oh, where I am with mine. Obviously, it's only half a paint in a day, but we are painting in a day because it is a day and we are painting, so therefore it's painting in a day. Painting in a day, half yeah, a day. Half a day, yeah. So anyway, I'll show you what we've done. A um, couple of questions that I've got for uh, the Legion. How long have you been wearing that top now? <laughs> um, Steve, Steve pulls me up on this because he thinks I wear this every day, and uh, it's true, I do wear it every day, but... I treat it like a coat because it's cold in the shop. I've got a fire on. I've had to turn the fire on today, and this this daylight bulb gives off a lot of heat. But without this, I've got a t-shirt underneath. But I I freeze, so I have washed it last week. You washed it last last week. Yeah. And you go on at me about my jumper that I wash every about two days. I'm your Three fault. Days. Yeah. But no, I mean with with, 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 have... with hair product. With hair product. That's what it is. It's grenade hair product. No, it's worse than that. It's it's uh, fats. It's it's what bodybuilders. Oh, bodybuilders. Yeah, I, I bought it off a mate along the road who runs the bodybuilding shop, and it's basically the it's the brand name for a powder stuff that increases your protein in muscles and whatever. That's what it is. But it looks pretty cool. Doesn't it? No. You haven't seen it on the back. Look what's on the back. Oh. Can you see that? Yeah. What what's that big dirty mark on the back? Grenade blowing up down the bottom. Okay. There's a lot of agrax that spilt earlier on. Uh -huh. Still haven't cleared it all up. And I hear you're having an early Christmas present. Oh, what? Well, that, that's that's literally hot off the press. That's, <laughs> well, it's not set in stone yet. But I might I might become a father again. Well, not a father. Uh, uh, I might have a I might have a puppy coming. <laughs> <laughs> Just clear me by cesarean section or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Claire phoned me up earlier and said, do you fancy having a puppy? It's not, as you say, it's not set in stone yet, but I'll, I'll keep you posted. You're going to bring him down the shop? No, Is he going to live under the bench like the beast beneath? I don't think it would be, a, no, that would be cool, because uh, my old dog, Ollie, bless his heart, I used, to, I used to keep him in a cage at, at the shop. Not in this shop, but in the old shop. He used to be in a cage. And we used to go down at midday. Is that, the special, is that the special shop where you had to ring the doorbell to come oh, to the top yeah, store? Oh, yeah, it was a special shop. Yeah. Yeah. It was like crow's nest. Yeah, you, you had, had to, to press a doorbell to get in and go up yeah. a flight of stairs, darkened stairs to the special shop but full of railway porn. Yeah, that's true. That's the old days. Anyway, so that's it then. Yeah, that's it. That's it for today. So I'll do my wind-up because I'll do, I'll do a much professional, more professional wind-up than you will. Sure you will. So... Right. Run, so after my couple of hours this morning, um, basically these are just um, base coated. So uh, I've still got a little few bits to do, like the just put the base coats on the um, anklet thingies, whatever they're called, and uh, do the you know put a yellow on and stuff, finish the yellow off, touch up the reds. Uh, and I'll do a few washes, coloured washes, uh, just to define all of the strapping and stuff. So I'll probably use a black wash on the um, straps and on all of the grey bits. Probably a brown wash on the wood. I've got to put the gun metal on yet. And then a, a brownie wash on the faces and do the faces. And then that's that. I'll then re-highlight them and uh, dip them. And they should turn out... Something like him. Um, I'll put a link in anyway to my uh, painting red coat video, uh, which is about these. So now, because my squad consists of, uh, well, this is a, 
a light. That's a grenadier, and he's a sense company. So, and like I say, they're for uh, sound of drums and shakos. Plus, I mean, I can use them as a skirmish line if ever I have, have British and black powder. So, yeah, cool. Right. Back to the show. So there you go, that's the uh, end of uh, painting a day. Uh, well, it's actually painting a half day, but um, you know, we've done our best just to bring you some light entertainment for you to paint by. So uh, hopefully after, after Christmas, we've got a couple of others scheduled. that will probably be a bit better than this last one because we've got some, I've got a big new project after Christmas. Uh, and so that'll be something to look forward to. All right, well, thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you again later. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.